Hi guys, it's so good to see everybody. Well, I'm not really seeing you. I'm looking at a blue light on the top of my computer, but I'm so glad I get to talk to you guys just for a little bit. This has been a weird week, right? Kind of like we can't go to school. Your mom and dad can't go to work. We're all stuck at home. I'm even stuck at home. Like I'm not at the church at the moment. I'm in my dining room. You guys see my fancy teacups? Yeah, I have fancy teacups for tea parties that I can throw. But we have been living a weird week, right? And to be honest, I've been getting kind of worried here and there. Maybe you have too. Maybe you've been worried at some point this week that you could get sick. Maybe you've been worried that you wouldn't get to go back to school or see your friends, or see grandpa and grandma. We have lots of these worries, but God has something to say about these worries. To help us understand, I've brought something with me. I brought my Elsa and Anna backpack and Olaf. Olaf's my favorite. But I brought this backpack with me. Well, it's not mine, it's my daughter's. But this backpack is empty, right? I see it, it's empty. Nothing there, it makes it really light. You can throw it way up high and hopefully not drop it. That's light. So we're gonna add some stuff to it to make it heavier. And each of these things that we add is gonna be a worry. Maybe you're worried that you're gonna get really, really sick. Stick that in there. Maybe you're worried that your mom and dad or grandma and grandpa are gonna get really sick. Maybe you're worried that you won't get to go back to school and see your friends. Maybe you're worried that you won't get to make up those sports things that you're missing or those plays that you're missing on concerts. Oh, my backpack's getting heavy with all this worry. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, you're worried that something really bad is going to happen that you don't know about. Oh, my backpack's so heavy now. I'm gonna zip it up. I don't think I can fit any more worry into it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, oh, worry. This is a lot heavier than my other one. I can't throw it as high. If I drop this one, my toe, it would hurt. See, the Bible says that our worry gets very heavy. I'm going to read to you uh, Proverbs 12, 25, what it says. If you want to grab your Bibles, you can turn to Proverbs 12, 25. You can pause me and go get your Bible, or I'll pause for 10 seconds. Okay, hopefully you have your Bibles. We're going to read it to you how, what it says in Proverbs 12, 25. An anxious heart weighs a man down, but kind word cheers him up. Anxious is another word for worry. I'll read that again. An anxious or worried heart weighs a man down, but kind word cheers him up. See, when we worry or get anxious, it weighs us down. Like, remember my backpack. It weighs us down. But a kind word cheers us up. We are in need of lots of kind words right now. Kind words to point people to Jesus. In Hebrews it says, fix our eyes on Jesus. Because he's the author and perfecter of our faith. When we fix our eyes on Jesus, he can give us the kind words to help people with their worries. 
You can give kind words by talking to people on the phone or sending them video messages or cards or pictures or begging stuff for them. It's a lot of ways to point people to Jesus. Because even in this worry time, we can have hope in Jesus. Let me pray for you guys really quick. Dear God, we thank you that you have all of our worries, you have all of our fears, and that we can trust you. Help us to be people who give kind words to others. Point them to Jesus. Amen.